In today's video, I'm going to be talking about Pyrex rolls. Um, I'm by no means an expert on them, but as an eBay seller, there's something I always keep an eye out for. And this particular set isn't for sale, but I wanted to share with you the set because I it's I I love it. It's one of my my favorites um, with the quintessential um, for me the quintessential Pyrex bowl set. This is a four-piece nesting bowl set, and this is all done in flamingo pink. You've got the, the smallest one, and that was the one and a half pint one size. And then you got the next one, which is the one and a half quart size. And then you have the third one, which is the two and a half quart size. And then you have the largest one here, which is the four quart size. And with these, if you look, these are all done in flamingo pink. And they're, um, you can see all on the bar, the bottom of them, you can read the markings about Pyrex. It'll give you the size. It'll also say made in USA. It, and it says ovenware. Pyrex has been around for a long time so that the markings on the bottom can be different. Sometimes they can be washed out, you know, rubbed off and you can't read them as good. Um, but these bowls were from 1956 and they had been a shower gift to my mother and they have been used continually since that time and they're really for they they're in beautiful shape one of the things i was going to mention though with pyrex the vintage pyrex when they come in colors i would never put them in the dishwasher uh, my mother-in-law had done that she had a beautiful set of um the four primary color sets and they all became white uh, the the dishwasher took the colors out and that they were they were from like 1960 so they really weren't made to be dishwasher safe um, and so getting back to uh, Pyrex and their resale value like anything when you come across it and you think it might be good for resale you have to check check to see what the com completed auction listings are because if you just punch in um, a bowl for instance and a Pyrex bowl and you can see like all these you might see a wide range of these crazy good prices that you're you know you see the dollar signs right there and then but one of the things that you have to go then you have to do is check into completed and sold refine your search on the left hand they'll give you a drop down to so that you can actually see what people are getting from for these and the other thing you have to be aware of if people um sometimes the prices look like wow these people are getting big bucks but look at what they charged for shipping because if they charged for shipping, these are a very heavy bowl. They're going to have to have a lot of packing material. So a lot of the a lot of the money that may look like sheer profit to you, it could very well be money that's going towards shipping to get these to arrive safely. Because if you skimp on the packing materials, well, before you know it, you'll be refunding because you don't have um, because the item arrives broken. Um, they're, they're a good thing to, to buy insurance for when you ship. Um, the other thing, too, is a lot of times when I get the, the sets, I'll sell. I usually don't get the sets. I get the, I find the, the bowls, like the single, the stray bowl, the, like the stray dogs. Um, but even if I had a set, I would be tempted not to sell it all as a set because the shipping besides it being very expensive it's very heavy and the more pyrex you have in there clanking around the higher your chances are going to be for having damage done to them um so that's just something to keep 
your mind aware, open to. And there is a condition, like everything, it's the condition is always an important thing to look at and how rich is the color, how much are the um, the scrap, uh, scratches. And that's something that you want to mention in your listing listing too or if you just want to keep it for yourself you take a look at it and think is this what I what I'm looking for now with this set the um the little the smallest one here had been a replacement from eBay a few years ago because and you can see where it's a little richer in color um, than the other right next to it. Um, it had been a replacement because the original one had broken back in the day. And so eBay came along and it was a great place to um, replace these. The, the other thing about the Pyrex that I find so fun is the, the 50s, 60s, 70s brides, it was such a staple as a gift so that when you would visit with these people, you could wager often like when they got married by what their Pyrex design looked like and it's a kind of the same with I like looking in the old pictures for the holidays and trying to find the the Pyrex on the buffet table and um, it, it's just fun because again it, it was such a common the the colors were different but everyone it seemed like every kitchen had some form of Pyrex um, I had also spotted the yellow Pyrex, one of the big mixing bowls. It's either the big one or the, or the second to the biggest one. Um, when I was watching a rerun of Family Affair, Mr. French had a, a canary yellow bowl, which was just, um, just kind of, kind of neat. So anyways, that's what I can, there's so a lot of information about collecting Pyrex and all the different designs. And there's a lot online. There's a real following. And that's why sometimes when you find it like at an estate sale or at a thrift, it can be very, um, it can be very pricey. You know, it, it just kind of depends on, you know, who's holding the, the pricing gun that day. Um, but I just wanted to share with you this really nice 19 circa 1956 flamingo pink four piece nesting bowl set and um, as an FYI they're all numbered on the bottom for the different sizes the 401 is the littlest going up to 404 which is the largest and yeah I just wanted to share that with you today thank you